So I actually found a lot of these burrito grunts underneath these big rocks. Shoot them in the hole and they pull out pretty easily. This one comes right out. Pull it straight up to the surface. Brain it. Bleed it out. So on this dive, I'm going down. There's plenty of burrito grunts everywhere on this one. On the way right, on the left, you can see me line up to this guy. I'm waiting for it to clear some more rocks. Take the shot. It's not a brain, but right behind the gills, so it's nice and secure shot. Let's try to secure the shaft, and up we go. And there is the burrito grunt. Beautiful fish. Now let's head over to the kitchen and start cooking. All right, guys, we are back in the kitchen about to make a fish burrito with our burrito grunt. There it is. We have it filleted in there. We have it labeled just defrosted from our Mexico trip. And for our batter, we have beer, salt, pepper, um, some garlic salt, um, pepper. Oh, we already have pepper. Um, some smoked paprika and to get some thickness in there, some cornstarch. So we're going to mix this together into that bowl with an egg and uh, make some batter there. Uh, we have some uh, salsa from our local fish taco shop actually left over, some creme fraiche. Uh, we do have a fresh jar, but we're just going to reuse some of the, the, the ones we didn't use for our other tacos. Um, of course, we have some limes. I don't think we'll need this many, but they're there for show. It looks cool. Um, next up, we have our red onions, cabbage. Um, these are also left over. Some tortillas. And let's get cooking. Oh, and lastly, we can't forget the canola oil. We're going to need that to deep fry the fish. We're going to do it in this cast iron pan right here. I just cleaned it off. Um, we're going to put some oil in there, get it heated up. But the reason why I like to use a cast iron, it retains the heat more and it keeps it um, relatively the same temperature or close to the same temperature when you started. Um, so that's why I like to use a cast, though it's kind of annoying to clean. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Now we're going to cut up some veggies. This is cabbage. So here is our veggie mixture. We got our red onions and our cabbage. Super simple, but it's gonna go nicely with our creme fraiche, salsa, and of course our fish. The scoop of our all-purpose flour. Throw it into our mixing bowl. Next up, we're gonna grab our cornstarch. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. Next up, we have our garlic salt. Let's put that into the mixture for some flavor. And to follow up with that flavor, we do have smoked paprika as well. Now we're gonna mix it in. Mix that mixture, blend it together. Now we got our beer, let's add that in. Then we're gonna crack our egg into the mixture. And this is our batter for our fish tacos. Mix away. So we got our mixture nice and mixed. Now we're gonna put our canola oil into our cast iron. We're gonna do a good amount. We don't have a deep fryer, but we're gonna do a nice, we're gonna get that to temperature. So we're gonna test if the oil is hot enough. We're just. Yep, that's hot enough. All right, so we have our burrito grunt here. And then next up, we're going to use some flour and we're actually going to coat, lightly coat the fish. 
See that right there? This is before the batter. This should give it a nice crisp. Now we're going to put the fish into the batter. Looking good. Then here we go into the hot, hot oil. That golden brown, looking beautiful. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Here we go. Straight out of the fryer. Golden brown. Crisp from that beer batter. Mmm. All right, we're gonna assemble our burrito now. We're gonna start with our beautiful burrito grunt fish onto our tortilla. Next up, we got our veggies, cabbage and red onion. Going straight on top of the burrito. Let's get some more on there. Yes. Looking good. Next up, we're going to squeeze a lime. Some nice flavor. We have some leftover salsa from a local fish taco joint. We're going to actually use that on top of ours. Super nice flavor. Or some creme fraiche. Again, you can get that at a store, but we just have some leftover, so we're using those. It's looking mighty tasty. Of course, we have our side of peppers from, again, local spot, but might as well. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Look at that flaky burrito grunt. We got our cabbage. Red onion, that creme fraiche, looking tasty. All right guys, we just wrapped up. It's looking delicious. Here is our fish burrito right there. You see the details of that. Nice big fish. Burrito grunt, that's the fish. Um, again, this is beer battered fish burrito. And of course, we have some chilies from our local taco shop. But let's take a bite and see what it's all about. Mmm. Lots of good flavor. Really flaky fish. That's really tasty. Nice crisp veggies. We we'll check out our fish taco, fish burrito. Sorry. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. A lot more food videos to come from the Baja trip and Baja fish. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.